hello there welcome to my channel okay in this video i'm going to explain to you about uh, additional mathematics paper one and uh, it is a uh, 0606 and 12 february march 2020 the time duration allocated for this paper is two hours okay let us begin with the first question okay the first question here on the axis below sketch the graph of this okay and then showing the coordinates of the point where the curve intersect the coordinate axis so first of all when you are looking at a y-axis your x must be zero okay now let me substitute the x equals to zero into this equation here and so here you here you'll be getting negative 3 so here x is 0 so you can put here okay now we will repeat the same thing here so over here we will replace the x with 0 and you'll be getting negative 4 and here will be 1 so when we multiply everything here you'll be getting uh, this is 8 so you'll be getting that negative 24 okay negative 24 so your coordinate here will be 0 and negative 24 okay now we are going to make here x axis x intercept okay for x intercept your y must be 0 so we copy down this equation okay now it will be equals to 0 so now we can find the x value here so the x will be getting here three values which is x equals to 2 and here's x equals to 4 and the last one here will be x equals to negative 1 okay now we have to plot in all these values into this graph so here will be negative 1 here will be 2 and here will be 4 and for negative 24 we will place it here okay now it's time for us to draw the graph we start from here on top okay this is your graph type okay here there is an additional information here to draw your cubic graph you have to observe this one okay if your a here is a negative you'll be getting a this type of graph if it's a positive okay it means uh, the coefficient of your x cube here is a positive you'll be getting a this type of graph all right so after you have sketched this you'll be able to get your three marks here okay and we will move to the 1b now okay 1b hence find the values of x for which okay this equation will be more than zero it means y is more than zero when we look back at the graph here let me scroll a little bit upper okay when we look at the graph here y when you're going above right above so here will be y is a positive more than zero when you're going down y will be less than zero so when you look at it uh, here we will have let me shade this area okay this the area you should highlight it and this is the answer for you okay more than zero so for this question you will have x less than negative one okay this is one of your answer and another one is in between this two and the four so you'll be having two okay so you'll be getting here two answers just by looking at the graph okay so for this question you'll be getting here two marks okay now let us move to the second question okay question number two find the values of k for which the line here is a tangent to the curve 
Okay, it means, let's say here we have a curve and this is a tangent. If it's a tangent, it will be touching here only once. So for this, we are going to use a b square minus 4ac equals to 0. Okay, so we have to substitute this equation into this bigger equation. So now I'm going to substitute the y. So here will be replaced by kx plus 3 equals to 2x square plus with 4x plus k minus 1. And then we move the left one okay, to the right. minus kx and here you have a minus 3 plus k minus 1 then we try to simplify this okay now if you having a 2x here we factorize this x okay we have x minus k and here's x and here negative 3 minus with 1 you'll be getting here plus k okay you'll be getting plus k minus with 4 so by following the general equation so this is the a this is the b and this is the c so the a will be 2 and the b will be 4 minus k and the c here will be k minus with 4 okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to substitute all these values a b c into this equation so now the b square is 4 minus k we square it minus 4 a is 2 and the c here is uh, k minus 4 equals to 0 okay now we expand this you'll be getting 16 minus 8 k plus with k square and here we have minus 8 k and here's 8 8 multiply with 4, you got 32, should be positive 32. We simplify this. Let me scroll a bit lower. Okay. So here you'll be having k square minus 16 k and plus with 40 and you'll be getting here your answer k k here and here you'll be getting 16 and here's 4 and both will be negative and and then your answer for the k is 12 or k is 4 this is your full working for this question and you'll be getting here five marks okay so i hope you can understand this question so let me go to question number three okay for question number three the first three terms in the expansion of three minus ax power of five in ascending power of x can be written in the form of this find the value of each of the a b c Okay, now so for the first term, we can write it as 5, 0, put the bracket, and then we take the first one, okay, 3, negative ax, okay, and then plus with 5, 1, we will repeat again the process, okay, this is the second term. And we have the 5, 2. Write here the same 3, 
minus ax. Okay, now for the power. <coughs> the power here, we have to follow this. Okay, the bottom one. And then here we have to put 5. Remember, both of this, we add it. Okay, we add both of this. We must get equals to this number. Okay, now, if here is 1, here will be 4. So that it makes, uh, it, it add on, it makes 5. If here is 2, here will be 3. Okay, now, let us get the value for this, the first term. Okay, to press in your calculator, we have to make it like 5C, this is a combination, okay, 0. And through your calculator, you'll be getting here 1. And here will be 3 to the power of 5, which is 2, 4, 3. Okay, anything that is a power to 0, you'll be getting here 1. And here will be plus with the same thing, 5C1, which you'll be getting here, 5. Okay, and then here you'll be getting 81. So we put a bracket. And here will be negative AX. Okay, plus, here's 5C2, which is... 10, you are getting 10 here, and here you will be getting that 27, and here you have to square the both side here, you will be getting a square and x square. Okay, now we simplify this, so the first term you will be getting 2, let me change my color, okay, so here you will be getting there 2, 4, 3. We plus with, okay, uh, here will be 81 multiplied with 5, you got 405. So I make it minus because you have here minus, okay. So it's a 405 kx, and here you'll be getting uh, 270 a square x square okay now you have to compare with the <coughs> with the with this b we just follow this b minus 81 x plus with c x square okay now we have to find the value of this a b c okay let me scroll down here Okay, now the B is automatically, there is no calculation involved. You'll be getting here 2, 4, 3. And here we can take with or without the negative because both are negative. So we can take this and compare with 81. So 405A equals to 81. And you'll be getting here 81 divided with 405. Your A here will be 1 over 5. Okay, 1 over 5. Okay, now we are going to compare uh, 270 A square. Okay, it's an A square. We compare with C. So, C equals to 270A square. Now, the A, you, the value of the A you have obtained at here. So, you can get uh, 1 over 5. Then, you square this. You'll be getting 270 divided by 25. Which will be giving you 10.8. Okay, so you have get A, B, and, or oh, there's, there's a small error here, so it should be C. So here is the C. 
okay so i hope you can understand this question for the explanation for question 4 to question 7 please click the link below okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please link please like and subscribe thank you very much guys